Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three steps that if followed is gonna allow you to create optimized content using AI that's page one worthy. Okay, it's gonna be fully optimized for your keywords. So there's three steps to do this. The very first step is to search for your keyword inside of Google. Okay, and then you need to visit every single one of the top 10 ranking sites and take all of the headings from these websites. Okay, you can actually get Chrome extensions and Mozilla Firefox plugins to do this guys, but I'm gonna be showing you another way to do this in a moment. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to uncover LSI terms. LSI terms are like the ingredients that build up your content. They're, they're terms that are very important to be included if you want that content to rank inside of Google. Okay, and you can find tools that will uncover LSI terms for you as well but I'm going to be showing you how I do it myself and the third thing that we need to do guys is actually feed the content of one of these sites for our keyword to chat GPT so that it gets a full understanding of what the actual topic is okay so let me show you exactly how to do this okay so the very first thing that we do is inside of the software inside of the prompt generator AI is search for our keyword inside of Google using this section here Okay, once we do this, it's going to uncover the, the top 10 ranking sites, average word counts, the average number of headings they're using, heading twos, LSI terms and everything. Okay, so we're going to go over to the LSI terms. So for example, phrase review. Okay, we got terms like phrase, content, tool, SEO, writing, tools. This is the essence. This is the ingredients exactly what you need to include inside of your content, which Google expects you to include inside of your content. Okay, so I take these keywords. <clears throat> the way I do this is I open this file here, I open the LSI1 file, and I take probably the top 100 keywords from this LSI file, and I feed it to ChatGPT. I then go ahead and I also take the headings. So as you can see here, we've got heading ones, we've got heading twos, okay, loads of them. And we've got heading threes as well. Loads of them as well. We've even got heading fours. I didn't bother taking the heading fours. I took the heading ones, heading twos, and heading threes, and I added them all to chat GPT. And what you can see here in the browser tab is I'm actually I've actually got a URL that's ranking inside of Google, that's ranking high in Google for this keyword. Okay, and this is what we're gonna feed chat GPT so that it understands the actual product altogether. Don't forget chat GPT has a cutoff date and it might not be trained on this actual product or this or the data that it's trained on might not include this product. And this is why we need to feed the details to chat GPT. So there's three things that we're doing. We're feeding chat GPT, let me just show you. We're feeding chat GPT headings from sites that are ranking inside of Google. Okay, we're feeding chat GPT LSI terms that are from sites that are ranking inside of Google. Okay, and we're also giving chat GPT the website URL so that we can get the content and send it to chat GPT for a site that is ranking inside of Google. And then we're giving it our keyword as well to tell it exactly what kind of content we want it to rank for or what kind of content we want it to actually create content content for. So basically, let me run this strategy and show you how it's done. There's one more thing that I've added in here as well. So if we have a look at requirements, I've added in a list of URLs. Okay, this list of URLs are links for my website so that it can add internal links inside of the content as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually use GPT-4 for this. Um, as you can see, I've actually created one here. This was using GPT-3.5 um, and we got 5,800 and I don't know, 83 words in here um, and as you can see we've got a very very nice optimization score inside of here as well so that's 58 out of 60 okay and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and use GPT-4 and the reason behind it is because it didn't add any internal links for me inside of GPT-3.5 and I feel GPT-4 follows instructions a little bit better okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on automation I'm going to make sure everything's set up and I'm going to click on start <laughs> Okay, what I should have mentioned and what I should have showed you as well, guys, is that this strategy is actually made up of 14 prompts. Okay, there's 14 prompts in total that we're going to be sending GPT. Okay, as you can see, we're getting a nice outline from GPT here. Okay, let me just show you what we've done in this prompt up here, guys. Okay, so we're telling ChatGPT, below is a list of headings extracted from the top 10 ranking sites on Google. 
the content ranks for our keyword phrase review. Okay, using a, using the list of headings noted below, create an in-depth SEO optimized article outline for the keyword phrase review. Use the headings as a guidance to create an in-depth outline that covers all areas. So we're basically giving it all of the headings from the top 10 ranking sites, not the top one, not the top two, but the top 10 ranking sites and telling it to create an optimized um, outline. But not only that, we're also saying to it, consolidate and group related topics together to ensure a comprehensive coverage of the subject. Okay, and take take a look at this. It's giving us a fantastic outline now. And then when we go to create topics or sections for this, we're gonna be creating it based on content that we're, we're giving it for sites that are already ranking in Google. So as you can see here, we're saying we're gonna send you content from a site that's ranking in Google. Just let me know that you understand. If you do, I'm gonna start sending the content. And as you can see, here's part one. Now it's saying proceed with part two. And it's trying to figure out part three. I'm gonna click on stop generating there. The software will jump onto the next prompt. And this is part three. It's trying to figure out part four. There is no part four, I've clicked no. And as you can see, we're saying now go ahead and create, um, sorry, we're saying say yes if you understand and then I'm gonna send you my first prompt to begin creating the article. Okay, and now we're telling it to go ahead and create the article. Okay, but let's have a look to see what we've done down here. So we got the outline created. This is the outline here. We got this outline created from the headings from the top 10 ranking sites. We then gave it LSI terms to be included inside of the content from the top 10 ranking sites. We also gave it internal links to put for my website. And as you can see, it's going ahead and it's creating the content for us. It's gonna do everything automatically, guys. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on pause. This is using GPT-4. It's it's about 11.50, it's about 11.25 a.m. in the UK. So all of Europe's awake, guys. Um, and they're probably using this as well. So it's gonna run a little bit slow. I'll put this on pause and come back and then we can have a look at the results together. Okay, just to have a look at this, guys. It's, ha it's added in a nice internal link for us, um, but I don't know if that's gonna be relevant. Um, so I will have to check that, but have a look at this. It's giving us some nice bold words in here as well um, for each article. So we're actually creating an article using five sections. Um, and for each section, we have five subtopics as well. Um, so it's creating multiple paragraphs okay for each subtopic which is brilliant guys it's adding in the bold words for us as you can see it's adding in internal links for us as well um, and this is all based from content that's already ranking inside of google which is absolutely fabulous so i'll be back in a moment to show you the end results okay so um this is another prompt where i'm actually asking it to create a useful summary table for all five sections um but as you can see, it's using Markdown and it should have been using HTML. Um, I don't know why it's done that. Maybe I need to adjust my prompt just a little bit to make sure that it's actually using Markdown format. Um, I'm sure I do construct, I tell it to, look, the table, I'm telling it to use the table. But anyway, it's used Markdown format. I can go ahead and convert that in a moment. Um, but that's one of the areas that we're going to convert, um, or we're going to have to convert inside of um, the actual file. In, in fact, what we'll do, we'll actually go over to here while it's still working, uh, we'll go over to Google. Uh, we'll do markdown to HTML. Okay, brilliant. So we'll just wait until this is done. So now it's actually um, creating a schema as well. So um, it created us um, FAQs, frequently asked questions. And now for those frequently asked questions, it's actually creating us um, FAQ page schema um, that can be put on our page as well. Okay, so we'll just let it complete. Um, and when it's complete, we'll go ahead and have a look at the article. Okay, and we're done. So that was eight minutes and 51 seconds. So it was a fairly long article, guys. Um, but as mentioned to you, that was um, a total of 14 prompts, all automated. And in that prompt, in those 14 prompts, we actually visited a website, scraped the website, sent the content to ChatGPT as well. So it's actually cool. Okay, let's have a look to see how the actual article worked out. Okay, so this is the article here. Okay, as you can see, this was... Um, 
the markdown formatted table. We'll take a look at that in a moment to see if we can convert that. Um, but altogether, we've got 4,578 words. If I click on score, uh, what you can see down here is we've got a score of 43. And if I have a look why, then bring this down here, you can see we've got more than the average number of words when comparing to top 10 sites. Okay, but the H1s, we've got way too many H1s, we've got way too many H2s, we don't have any H3s. Okay, so what I can do is I can click this um, auto optimize button, okay, and this will restructure our um, heading sections um, so that they're more aligned to um, the sites that are ranking on page one. So if I click on score now, um, as you can see, we're on 53. And if I have a look at why, uh, you can see down here, our headings, are now totally aligned. Okay, so that's brilliant stuff, guys. And if I add an image in here, for example, because that's worth five points, um, and I click on score, you can see we're on 58, guys. Okay, so we're doing really, really good. This is producing quality content, and we know it's quality because number one, ChatGPT does create quality content if you give it instructions properly and our instructions is feeding it data about the product d headings from the top 10 ranking sites and lsi terms as well so anyway let's go ahead and take this um stuff here in fact what i can do i can probably come along here guys really really quickly it'll probably be easier for me um scroll up find where it's added that table copy the table come down here paste it in there now now that's better okay so I can go raw HTML take that there come along here whack it in there okay so now we got this down here so we've got a section introduction to phrase okay explore what phrase is and its role in content creation and SEO here a personal anecdote about the experience of using phrase okay so as you can see guys it's it's a good article okay um and this is probably the best way that i found to create these articles now and the reason behind this guys um look at this look we've got lists inside this is one article don't forget so we've got lists inside of this article we've got internal links inside of this article we've got important terms that are bold we've got faqs we've got faq schema we know that the headings have come from sites that are ranking on the top 10. we know that the lsi terms have come from sites that are ranking on the top 10 and we know that we've fed chat gpt content so that it fully understands Understands the topics that it's going to be writing about guys this is gold okay this is the way that you need to be working with AI guys whether you're working with it in an automated way like I am or whether you're working with it in a manual way when it comes to providing con when it pro comes to prompting chat GPT or any AI engine to create you content then your content is only going to be as good as your input as your prompts guys okay and this allows you to make your prompts so sophisticated that everything that chat gpt is going to create for you is going to be aligned with the top 10 ranking sites and it's going to be ready and prepared and it's going to be page one worthy content so anyway thank you very much guys and i really hope you enjoyed this video